Governor Cooper releasing his recommended budget for the upcoming year with a big focus on education. The governor's plan would raise teacher pay by eight and a half percent and invest more than a billion dollars in our public schools across North Carolina. Key investments would also be made in child care and job training and clean drinking water. Michael Perchick joining us live now here in downtown Raleigh. Michael, we have the numbers, so explain what this means for all of us and, and our families. Is Steve Lauren, the governor has dubbed 2024 the year of public schools and throughout this budget you see a lot of focus on enhancing the school systems across the state. The question is whether or not this will win over Republicans who continue to hold super majorities in both chambers. Our educators across the state talk a lot about feeling undervalued and disrespected. North Carolina ranks 46 nationally in starting teacher pay, viewed as one key reason behind attrition in the profession. That we have 1,000 fewer teachers today than we did six years ago, even though our student population has stayed the same. Governor Cooper recommending 8.5% raises for teachers, plus $1,500 retention bonuses. That's on top of funding to hire more teacher assistants. And we use this budget as a starting point. It is an initial investment. He's also throwing his support behind a 2 point five billion dollar school construction bond to replace aging buildings. Senate President Phil Berger asked about that today. We've indicated that our priority is to get the state out of the borrowing money business and so um, I don't think there'd be a lot of support for a bond. Another point of emphasis, child care. Federal pandemic funding is soon expiring, creating a difficult financial situation for providers. Nearly a third of North Carolina child care centers are at risk of closing their doors which means businesses are going to lose even more parents as employees. The budget I'm recommending today provides child care stabilization grants to help these centers stay open. The proposal calls for a moratorium on private school vouchers, though it would allow those already using them to continue doing so. That program, a major victory for Republicans who were able to override several of the governor's vetoes last session. At higher levels of education, there's $34 million towards Propel and C, $4 million to help colleges train students to join the EV workforce. Outside of that, improvements uh, to the unemployment system, conservation efforts, as you mentioned. The governor uh, making no bones about it. Certainly a lot of ideological differences with Republican leadership, but noted there have been points during his uh, term where they have found some agreement, most notably last session on Medicaid. I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.